everybody and welcome to Divine Kids Sunday School lesson and I am so excited this morning to have teacher Jackie with us and she said that she brought a friend with. Hi everyone, I'm glad to be here today and I hope you're all doing well. I have Rory. Rory is our new guest. Is he a lion? Yes, I and he loves to roar teacher Ilza. Oh, wonderful. He'll be joining us weekly with Giggles on our Sunday School Live show. Hello Giggles, hello Rory. How are you doing? Hello teacher Jackie. I'm doing very well, thank you. I'm so excited to have Rory here with us today. Welcome to our Sunday School lesson, Rory. Hello Giggles, thank you for having me here. Hi everyone, my name is Rory because I love to roar. Ooh. It's so good to be part of the Divine Kids family. Roar! Wow, Rory, you really can roar. I wish I could roar like that so that everything I'm scared of can just fly away. The way birds do when they hear a lion roar. I'm glad you like my roar, Giggles. The truth is, what makes my roar so powerful is the fact that God lives inside of me. Giggles, you know you don't need to know how to roar when God lives inside of you. I just wish I wasn't afraid of the dark or afraid of bullies at school. Well, the Bible says in 1 John 4 verse 4, You dear children are from God and we have overcome God's enemies because God who is in you is super greater than anyone and anything in the world. Um, I think I can already guess what our lesson today is going to be about today. We are going to talk about God's power in us. Spot on, Giggles. And I want to talk about my favorite hero, David, the giant killer, who was not afraid of bullies like Goliath, and I can bet he wasn't afraid of the darkness either. Yay! I love stories like these. Stories which tell the truth and free us from being scared. I'm so happy that you're excited because it's quite important for us to know that God has given us so much power. Have you ever noticed that when you switch on the light in a dark room, the darkness sprints away to hide itself. <laughs> yes, I've seen it. It seems pretty afraid of the light, if you ask me. <laughs> Wait, I remember God said He is light and we are children of the light. So when we step into a dark room, that means that darkness also flees from us. Right, Rory? Yes, that's a clever way of putting it. God never gave us a spirit of fear. Instead, God gave us himself so that whatever we think we're afraid of, we can face it with Jesus inside of us. Whether it can be hurtful words from a bully, getting sick, or even afraid of failing a test, God is inside of us. And when we trust him, he will always help us. Will you tell us more about David and Goliath, Rory? I know that David spent a lot of time worshipping and talking to God. Indeed, Giggles. David was a worshipper and spent a lot of time with God. But the one story about David I'll be sharing today is the day David met Goliath. 1 Samuel 17 tells us that several years had passed since David was anointed by Samuel. King Saul and his army were once again fighting the Philistines. The Philistines were warlike people who lived near Israel. The Philistines continually attacked Israel to take over their land. This time round, they had a giant. Goliath was his name and he was so close to three meters tall and quite huge. He wore an armor to protect himself from harm. There Goliath stood, tall and mighty, teasing Israel and sticking his tongue out at them saying, na 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 na, Israel scared to fight me. Goliath mocked Israel for many days until one day David arrived on the scene with five smooth stones and a gigantic faith in God. When Goliath saw David, 
He laughed and made fun of him. But David knew that God was on his side. So he said to Goliath, Hey you bully, now you have said enough. You come here to fight against me with a sword, a spear and a javelin. But I come against you in the name of the Lord who rules over all. Goliath's face went red and he moved closer to hit David. But David, instead of running away, ran unafraid to Goliath, placed the stone into his sling and slung it at Goliath. The stone hit Goliath on the forehead, doof, and sank in and Goliath with a loud bang fell to the ground on his face. So David had won the fight against Goliath with a sling and a stone and God's mega power inside of him. Whoa, Rory, God really proved to be with David again. Like light and darkness are opposites, I see that David and Goliath are also opposites. Goliath was huge and David was small. Goliath carried a sword and David had ca carried five smooth stones. Goliath scoffed at the God of Israel, but David honored and trusted God. And voila, God made David the winner. Because David loved and really trusted God, light always wins. Now, I feel unafraid to switch off my lights at bedtime, Rory. And I'm also not scared of what the police at school might think or say to do to me. Like David, I will remember 1 John 4 verse 4. You, dear children. You are my God and I have overcome God's enemies because God who is in you is super greater than anyone, anything in the world. That's right, Giggles. Reading, believing and doing what the Bible says makes us shine as bright as the sun inside. So when darkness comes to us like David, we have to speak what the Bible says and darkness will flee. <laughs> Rory, that was a great lesson. Thank you for reminding us that God is powerful inside of us also. Giggles, will you pray with our friends that's watching to accept Jesus into their hearts? Well, of course. Friends, if you would like to ask Jesus to come into your heart and to forever stay with you, please will you repeat after me in prayer? Dear strong Jesus, I ask you to please come into my heart and stay in my heart forever. Please will you forgive me of my sins and wash me clean with your blood. Please will you also give me your Holy Spirit to teach me more about you so I can be like David who was not afraid of things in the world. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Friends, that's all we have time for today. Remember. With God's help, we will do great things. Bye, everyone. Thank you for joining us, Rory. Until next time. Bye, everyone. Roar!